my name is Mike Nelms. I'm a combine product specialist for Agco, and today we're going to walk through the header potentiometer calibration on the 9250 Draper head. Uh, first thing you want to start off, make sure you're on a flat level surface, and obviously safety first. We're going to make sure that our header is latched, our single point is hooked up, and for this exercise you want to leave the PTO shafts disconnected for safety, just in case somebody would hop up in the cab and start it up, make sure nobody gets caught up in it. After we hook up our single point connector, we need to make sure to change our hydraulic hose from the variable speed position for our corn head down to the single point connector for our 9250 Dynaflex. Now that our header is latched on our combine, the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure that our float pins on the tilt arms are all in the float position, which is the rear hole. Before beginning the process of calibrating the potentiometers, make sure that on the left-hand side of the feeder house on the 9250, your module is hooked into the harness that says two adapter for drag rods in order to calibrate the potentiometers. So what we just did is we dropped all the pressure off of our cutter bar cylinders. We tipped the 9250 all the way forward and we lowered it down till it touched the ground and then we pushed it down the rest of the way to make sure we've taken all of the travel out of the tilt arms of the draper head. The next step we're going to do is we're going to unhook all of the potentiometers across the back of the head except for the very far one out here on the outside left hand side. To unhook all the other sensors it's just a simple connector you pull up on the locking mechanism and pull the harness out of the potentiometer. Now when we turn the key on on our combine, our C2100 display will read a voltage for the left hand side and that's going to be the only potentiometer that we have left hooked up on the harness. So now we're ready to physically adjust our potentiometer to read the right voltage up on the C2100 display. This is a point in time where you're going to want a helper, somebody to sit up in the combine cab and watch the display. So that way as you adjust this, your helper can tell you when you've reached the setting of 1.1 volts on the potentiometer. I've got my helper up in the cab, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen these two screws that hold the potentiometer in place, and all I'm going to do is adjust that potentiometer until he tells me that I've reached 1.1. Now that we've done this one on the far left hand side, we'll go ahead and unplug this one and we'll move to the next one over and plug it back into our harness and repeat this process across the length of the header. When looking at the voltage readout on the C2100 display in the combine cab, it's going to show a left and a right voltage. The way the header works is it has six sensors across the back of this 40 foot model and it averages the three on the left and the three on the right to get the left and right reading on the C2100. Now that the voltage is set on your potentiometers all the way across your 9250 Dynaflex header, you're ready to go ahead and proceed with the header calibration as described in your combine operator's manual. 